The Sabi Health Center is a multi-million dollar facility sponsored by the Sabu Sire Kaho, an association of indigenous of Sabi based in the diaspora. By sponsoring the construction of this health center, the sons and daughters of Sabi hope to give back to their homeland by providing such indispensable services as health care. And so as is a community development officer in an interview with GRTS, explained how the concept started and later blossomed beyond the expectations of the community. This is the most important thing because development is people. You cannot develop people. It's people that can develop themselves. You look at what they need and they embark on it. That was the, most imp the first impression I had. I told them, when you people are doing this for yourself, that means you people are already doing what I am here to do. Because my role is a community development facilitator. So if you people are developing projects for yourself using your own resources, I think you need to be commended. And I think it is a wonderful way that I want to encourage, in fact, other communities to follow suit. Because development is people. Besides constructing the buildings, the Sabu Sirekaho also sipped in all the necessary materials to furnish the wards with state-of-the-art beds and equipment. However, it was not until the government took over that the health center became fully operational. Following a visit to the village late last year, the president, His Excellency Seh, Professor Alhaji Dr. Yahya Jame Babili Mansa, inaugurated the facility. The president was highly appreciative of this initiative, helping the diaspora-based Sabians for the unprecedented move, which greatly complimented government. During the meeting, Professor Jame gave the community $1 million to procure drugs, whilst also pledging to construct a borehole to supply water. Four months on, everything is going well for the health center, as it has enough supply of drugs and a resident doctor sent by the president. Jawa Koli, a midwife, said this supply of drugs can last for months. Another development is, you know, we have a doctor. Uh, because the president promised that we are going to have a doctor. And that doctor is also very useful here. Because he used to see patients here, and sometimes go to Basse, see patients. And here we are using it also for admitting patients because Basse Health Center is congested. So some, some of the patients will be referred here and then admitted and we will take care of them. So they went to buy drugs and it can last, you know, for almost a year. The health facility by virtue of its strategic location caters for thousands of patients from across the upper river region and neighboring Senegal. This, however, does not in any way deter health workers from rendering services free of charge. For the beneficiaries, this health facility has saved them lives and resources. Until now, they had to travel kilometers, mostly on foot, to the nearest health center in Basse. Bahore Sila, a resident of Sabi, spoke of the immense benefits this has brought them as a community, saying they can now knock on the health center's door at any time to receive free medical care. Interestingly enough, Bahore revealed Sabi Health Center receives referrals from Basse. This was echoed by Buya Jao, who spoke of the difficulties women endured before they accessed medical care. In the old days, we walked kilometers to Basse, and this took a toll on pregnant women and the elderly, she said. Buya thanked Professor Jame for providing them drugs, a doctor and an ambulance to evacuate critical cases, and pledged their support at all times. The facility is now looking to the future, working hard to sustain these impressive gains. They plan to install solar panels to supply 24-hour electricity, to keep operations ongoing. By so doing, this would be a giant leap ahead as the Sabi Health Center strives to be a center of excellence and a model for other communities to emulate. Momo Rujalo, GRTS News.